Hi learners, very good morning. Welcome to Unified Study. Today we are going to see KSET PYQs, uh, the current affair questions from People Development and Environment. Do join. Very good morning, Snega. Good morning. Welcome. So today we are going to see some questions from people development, environment and current affairs and also with kind of a revision on important topics from PD. Very good morning, Ivarani. Good morning, Snega. Yes. Good morning, everyone. Please do like the session and share with your friends. Good morning, Mohana. Very good morning, everyone. So we'll start the questions, right? Yes. The hundreds of vulnerable olive redly turtles have washed ashore along the coastline. In which state recently? Hundreds of vulnerable olive redly turtles have washed ashore along the coastline in which state recently? Yes, do it. Ah, uh, Yuvarani, ah, uh, to download a response sheet, we have to get into the UGC website, that NTA website, and giving your application roll number, you'll be able, uh, you'll be taking to your login page, right? To your page, you'll be taking, and there you'll be having your response sheet. Don't worry, we will help you regarding all those things, regarding your uh, answer key analysis, paper one analysis. We will be helping you. Yes. The right answer for this question is Andhra Pradesh. Okay. What is that olive riddle turtles? So, this turtles we call it as a vulnerable species. Okay. We have many convention and protocol and regarding these uh, vulnerable species. And uh, this particular turtles is called as olive riddle turtles. And it has been there on the shore because of the oil exploration, right? Uh, from the local area, right? Because of that oil local blame it on the effluent from the oil exploration facilities and aqua ponds because of that what happened in the uh, coastal line of andhra pradesh many of this olive riddle turtles was being uh, died right and according to the uh, wwf and iucn this turtle was called as the vulnerable species what do we mean vulnerable as it's the population of that particular species has been decreasing because of the global climatic change okay because of the pollution that we make with respect to that uh, ocean pollution and uh, because of the uh, harmfulness that has been given to those turtles by means of trading and all those things the species numbers has been decreasing the population has been decreasing though they have been found in abundance in number in the uh, ocean right what happened is the species is recognized as the vulnerable by the iucn iucn red list next question you'll be having that iucn red list we will be looking after so according to that um, the global uh, data set okay this species is said to be a vulnerable uh, species and the population has been decreasing because of the pollution that happened in the ocean right very good next question iucn headquarters is that what iucn so iucn is related something with the uh, species okay you just relate tell me the answer for this one very good morning suma sima simna prabhakaran very good morning iucn headquarters is at what Yes, IUCN headquarters is at Dash.
Yes. Very good. Mohana. Yes, the answer for this question is gland Switzerland. What do you mean by IUCN? The before question also we had this one, right? IUCN has been in its red list. That species, olive red leaf turtles, has been a vulnerable species. So IUCN is International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources. What is this IUCN is? It was been created in the year 1948 and it is a global authority on the status of national world and the measure needed to safeguard the conservation of the uh, conservation of the nature right and the icua iucn red list of threatened species right threatened species that turtle also come under this one right it is the world's most, most comprehensive inventory of global conservation status of the plant and species in that red list what they will be having is all the endangered species, vulnerable species with respect to plant and animals will be maintained there and it was being done by this, by this organization, right? IUCN, International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources, created in the year 1948, having its headquarters in Gland, Switzerland. The IUCN red list of threatened species having the details of all the plant and animal species that has been very vulnerable, threatened and has been maintained in that IUCN red list. Right. Okay. And these are some additional details with respect to the organizations which are there in Switzerland. International organization in Switzerland. See World Health Organization, Geneva, Switzerland. International Labor Organization, Geneva, Switzerland. World Trade Organization, Geneva, Switzerland. And with respect to the people development environment, this is very, very important. World Wide Fund for Nature, that is also in Gland Wall, Switzerland. Right? So, these are the organizations that are there in Switzerland. And this WWF is mainly meant for the Environmental Treaty. And also this I, IUCN, International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources. Yes? Next question. Next question. So this one. Very good morning. Very good morning. Right answer for the question is e-waste management. E-waste management. Yes. Very good, Snega. Yes. The right answer for this question is Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climatic Change. And it was being started by the MOEF and CC. And they issued that e-waste management amendment in the, rule, uh, in the year 2023. And it is mainly to manage the e-waste, right, by adding the cadmium and lead in solar panels, solar photovoltaic panels, among others. And this uh, particular amendment, this rule came into the force in the year 2023 of April 1, right. This is mainly meant for e-waste management. And it has been done by the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climatic Change. Very good. Prabhakar, it's not electronics and IT. It is by Environment, Forest and Climatic Change. You know why? Because e-waste is also polluting the environment. Not only it is with respect to the electronics department, it also polluting the 
environment so in the e waste management is being done by the ministry of environment forest and climatic change yes next question next question this question is the continuation of the first one yes try to answer this question c i t s this has been discussed many a time by myself in the pde session that uh, we took for net examinations right many a times i have taken this one many a time i have taken this question very good very good very good very good sudha muttamil suma prabhakaran very good this question i have discussed many a times can anyone tell me the abbreviation of cites anyone can me tell me the abbreviation of cites i'll give you chocolate if you tell me the right answer cites yes you are right the answer for this one is conservation of endangered plants and animals anyone get me the abbreviation of cites yes archana very good archana niveta ivarani sudha niveta can you please give me the abbreviation of cites quick vos means okay i'll go with the answer the right answer the answer is right the conservation of endangered species plants and animals ivarani convention of international training okay it is a convention on international trade in endangered species of fauna and flora right cites that is this convention is mainly to regulate the international trade in endangered species of wildlife and it was been signed in the year march 1973 very good prabhakar ivarani very good very good very good this is mainly meant for what endangered species of wild fauna and flora yes very good and see this was been started in uh, conceptualized in 1963 at the meeting of IUCN in that meeting 1963 itself it was being conceptualized and it came and it was being signed in the year don't forget the years signed in the year 1973 see signed in the year 1973 and came into force 1975 okay so there are three years so site was conceptualized in the year 1963 at the meeting of IUCN and it was been signed in the year 1973 and it came into force in the year 1975 by means of all the member countries at that time it was 183 member countries to um, obey the rules and regulations of sites okay right and they headquarters has been located in the geneva switzerland right and it has been administered by unep united nation environment program bit so as in un we have so many wings in that especially we have the wing for uh, this cites also under unep okay yes right and the last op was been uh, happened in the year 2019 and india hosted the cop in the year 1981 okay india hosted the cop third cop in the year 1981 and this is small details regarding cites right okay so we are all giving as the result is going to come we are going to have our examination in june uh, june 2024 10th it's going to start we are doing a complete course for ugc net set paper 1 and it has been provided by myself tulasi and we are started the course and we are doing it on a foundation course has been done and there we focused on the data interpretation and the mathematical reasoning right always i trust that um, the maximum number of marks that we can just take away from this data interpretation and the reading comprehension and this time people will feel uh, some got trouble the mathematical reasoning so that we have started the foundation course on data interpretation and mathematical reasoning and from yesterday onwards we have started the detailed concepts unit wise we have started and along with the pyqs we are doing the practice session also right so you can have the and the class timings is from 8 pm to 9:30 pm our class timings and it will be from monday to friday 
and every saturday we will be having a group discussion through video call we used to interact with the learners to clear their doubts and also we will be having sign of an interaction every week we have and every week we are having the weekly mock test right and these are the features of the course that we take on unify study platform and these are the subscription details regarding the egc net paper one and also paper one and paper two paper two computer science has been taken by priyanka ma'am and this is the subscription detail for six months it's three thousand for paper one one alone and for paper one and two it has been for six thousand for six months right so here you will be having the concept discussion daily we focus on data interpretation and mathematical reasoning will be given focus as per the uh prediction right the math di mathematical reasoning there are few topics they will not remove they will be just to improve the content uh with respect to the syllabus so we are doing on the foundation course definitely all those things that we are doing will be helpful for your upcoming june 2024 so the learners also wish to join the course you can visit unify study platform you can download the app the link has been given there in the description after the class you can take uh, with those details you can get into the uh, app for more details for preparation consistent preparation to crack your examination right so this is the regarding the um, course details and this quiz Consider the following pollutants. Consider the following pollutants. Air pollutants. Okay. These are all pollutants. Yes, waiting for your answers. It's very good, quick. Uh, one small correction with that question. The before question, the last CITS was uh, happened. Last CITS was happened in the year 2022. Please kindly update in your notes. I uh, 2019 was given. Please kindly update. Uh, 2022. That is the 19th conference of parties. Okay, 19th conference of parties of the CITS. Okay. 19th conference of parties of CITS held in Panama. Please kindly note down this update with respect to last CITS. It held in Panama. Um, yes, COP. It is called COP 19 with respect to CITS. Okay. Don't confuse this COP with that UNFCC. That is different. There also uh, COP comes with respect to CITS. It is 19th COP sites. It is Panama. Please kindly note down. Okay, in that content, uh, I have given 2019, that is 18th COP. 19th COP has also been done in the year 2022. Okay, please kindly note down. 1922, now. Please kindly note down this detail. Yes, uh, the answer for this question, everyone answering. Sneha 3, Suma 1, Mohana 1. All are given mixed answers. Okay, very good. The right answer for this question is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. All the things we called, all, all are the pollutants, air pollutants, right? That two from the vehicular emissions. That two from the vehicular uh, emission. Uh, carbon monoxide, oxides of nitrogen, suspended particulate matter, unburnt hydrocarbon. Okay, all these things are being air pollutant and being released from the vehicular emission right so when we go into pollutants we have so many uh, pollutants and uh, un uh, understanding of pollutants are there we have primary pollutant and secondary pollutant with respect to air what are the primary pollutants is that is being directly emitted by a uh, from a source right it's a air pollutant emitted directly from a source we call primary pollutant secondary pollutant means what the pollutant the primary pollutant react with the gas that is there in the atmosphere and it again will become a pollutant and that we call it a secondary pollutant see here 
uh, this is a primary pollutant and that react with the atmosphere and it creates a secondary pollutant okay so examples like ozone uh, nitrogen oxide no2 acid rain all these things are called as water a secondary pollutant because they combine with the reacts with the atmosphere in atmosphere will be having the water vapor will be there or other gases may be there right they react the example see ozone ozone which is formed when hydrocarbons and nitrogen oxide combine in the presence of sunlight so in the presence of sunlight when these combine the hydrocarbon and nitrogen oxides combines ozone is being created okay no2 which is formed as the no combines with the oxygen in the air where nitrogen oxides right combine with the oxygen which is there in the atmosphere and there it creates no2 again acid rain right so this being formed when sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides react with water in atmosphere we have water vapor you may have a question ma'am why is water in the atmosphere yes we have water vapor in form of vapors right so with that vapor that sulfur will be reacted and it creates sulfur dioxide and when it rains it forms in of a acid rain right so that we call the acid rain is nothing but what sulfuric acid uh, is nothing but what sulfuric acid right sulfur dioxide reacts with the water vapor and it creates sulfuric acid and that we call it as the acid rain so these are the primary pollutant and the secondary pollutant see take a note of all these things co co2 pm pm means particulate matter so2 no no2 most hydrocarbons most suspended particles are also primary pollutant please take a note of these things in your notebook please take a note secondary pollutant so3 hno3 h2so4 h2o2 o3 pan okay all these things we call it as what a secondary pollutant it is being created by combining in the atmosphere by right? reacting with the atmosphere okay the secondary pollutant is being created very good next question and again one more thing regarding the air pollutant so according to national ambient air quality standard note this abbreviation naaq national ambient air quality standard they have given these are the common air pollutants like pm particulate matter ground level ozone carbon monoxide sulfur dioxide nitrogen dioxide lead see i have uh, taken in a class in the um, pd of earlier sessions uh, we have clearly given about the ground level ozone and the stratosphere ozone right um, there are hazardous air pollutants like toxic air pollutants such as uh, benzene dioxins aspartos toluene and cadmium mercury chromium lead or all these things are air pollutants recently in chennai we have a problem right in elu right in uh, sorry enu in enur we have a issue right with respect to what ammonia with respect to ammonia we had a very big issue many of the people died because of the uh, the ammonia gas right so like that lead is also very very poisonous okay so di benzene dioxin aspartos toluene and all these chemicals are called highly hazardous air pollutant and when we inhale all kind of cancer reproductive problem birth defects happens when it been combined with the atmosphere okay right next question which of the following is considered i want 100% right answer for this question i hope many of you have been listening to me very carefully so that i expect 100% right answer for this question yes, let me check how many of you give me the 100% right answer for this yes quick very good 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 very good very good the right answer for this question is question is
Ammonia where comes? Right answer for this question is ozone. It is a, considered as the secondary pollutant, right? The primary pollutants are directly emitted from the source. Examples of primary pollutants are carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide and benzene are the primary. So you may have a question, ma'am, what about benzene? Benzene is also being created by the secondary pollutant also. But when I compare to the priority, ozone as the secondary pollutant because benzene is also a primary pollutant and it is also a secondary pollutant. Okay, right. Secondary pollutants are what? They are not directly emitted. They react with the primary pollutant in the atmosphere. That's why secondary pollutant is being formed. The combination of what? Primary pollutant with some other compound. Examples, ozone, uh, formaldehyde, uh, pan, that is peroxyacetyl nitrate and smog. What do you mean by smog? The smoke plus fog, right? And, and if you go for a, a, a cities like Delhi and all right, there will be having heavy smoke will be there because the pollution is also more because of the vehicles and all smoke will be there and the fog will be there and they create what smoke and they create what smoke. Yes, right. Very good. Next question. Moving to the next quest. Do this one. This is a current updated question, current affair question. Do this one. this one i hope the questions will be useful to you please do like the session and share with your friends so that you'll be getting notification regarding our classes please do like the session and share with your friends sharing is actually enhances our learning only when we share we'll be able to learn more things right yes The right answer is what? Very good, very good. Please do like the session learners. Gaj means what? Easily we can identify. What is Gaj? Gaj we can able to identify. Why you assume mm, Muttamal, others? Yes. The right answer for this question is Project Elephant. Gaj means what? Gajendra means elephant, right? Gajendra means elephant, right? So, Gaj itself 2023 will be, uh, was organized. Sorry. It was organized by the Indian government to mark a 30 year celebration of which project? Project Elephant. Okay. And this was being organized by the Indian government to mark the 30 year celebration of Project Elephant. Very good. It was inaugurated by the President of India of April 7, 2023 at Kasiranga National Park. Where is Kasiranga National Park? That's my question. Where is Kasiranga National Park? So we we, we learned what is uh, Gaju itself. And tell me what is Kasiranga National Park? Where is where it is? Where it is located? Good question, right? Where is Kasiranga National Park? Yes, I'm waiting for the answers. Okay, no problem. If you don't have the answers, I will give you. Just note it down in your um, notes page. Okay, because it will be very, very useful to you. Please kindly note down in your notes page. It has been located in Assam. Okay, Kasiranga National Park is a protected area in the northeast Indian state. Okay, it's Assam. It is in Assam. And it's spread across the flood plains of the Brahmaputra River. And it is mainly for the forests, wetlands and grasslands are home to tigers, elephant and world's largest population of Indian one-horned rhinoceros. Right? The Indian one-horned rhinoceros is there in that Kasiranga National Park. Right? And it is also been Ganges River dolphins swim in this park's water. It is visited by many rare migratory birds. Rare migratory birds and cray pelicans roast. Near Kasiranga village. Okay. Very good. Very good. Very good. Assam. Assam. So, Kasiranga National Park is located in Assam. And this Gaj, uh, uh, Gaj Utsav 2023 was also celebrated in this park. And the very most uh, famous one is one on the rhinoceros in this park. Okay. And it has been a wetland, a grassland, or home to tigers, elephants, and uh, one on the rhinoceros. Very good. Clear. Next. 
to this last question, last question of today's class. Yes, do it. Last question, exposure to benzene pollution. Very good. Benzene. Just now we looked at benzene, right? Benzene, right? So just think logically and try to answer. Very good. Yes, we we'll go for the answer. The right answer for this question is option 1, 1, 2, 3. Ma'am, can we expect the answer key today? Anand, we can expect today or tomorrow. By today or tomorrow, they have to release. So that only the answer key will, the result will be by this January 10th. So we expect by January 10th the result itself. So we can wait any time if the answer key may release. So the right answer for this question is automobile exhaust to tobacco smoke wood body. Okay. So all these things are the exposure to benzene pollution. Right. And see what is benzene is released by natural process and also human activities. Natural process means what? By means of a volcanoes. Volcanoes. Volcanoes, yes. So volcanoes, they release benzene and by means of human activities like, uh, uh, see, by means of smoking, crude oil, by means of smoking, right, it has also been released. Okay. And, and also by forest fires, that is very, very important. By means of forest fires also, benzene is being released. Okay. Right. And it is also known as human carcinogenic and links to increase the risk of leptic and hematopic cancers. Okay. And the uses have been, have been used in plastic, resin, nylon and synthetic fibers. And it has also been used in paints, glues and furniture wax. Right. So these are about the benzene. And benzene is being formed by natural process and also human activities. Natural process, it includes volcanoes and forest fires. It is also natural part of crude oil, gasoline and the cigarette smoke. Cigarette smoke. So definitely smoke will be there. You can eliminate this third option. Automobile exhaust definitely it will be there. Wood burning is also there for the reason, right? So option 1, 2, 3 is the right answer. Clear? Yes. And today's my question, please kindly note down. Uh, the last before question, we talked about that migratory species, right? So what is the convention on, is there any convention for migratory species means? What is the convention of migratory species? The first question. And... That convention was signed and came into force on which year? When it was signed and when it came into force? And when it came into force and where it happened? Okay. All these things. The last before questions we discussed, right? Kastiranga National Park. And there we had, it's a migratory home for many birds. We studied one line, right? So with that line, I'm giving this question. What is the convention? Is there any convention for migratory species? Then what is that convention and uh, when it was signed and when it was came into force and where it has happened, right? So this is the question. Please kindly write the answers for this in the comment section and do like the session and share with your friends. Okay, share with your friends. 
so don't worry if you have get the uh, after we get the provisional answer key right the answer key has been released we'll be helping you to do the analysis we'll be doing with uh, all sorts of paper one we'll be doing the discussion on unify study platform stay connected with unify study platform for the paper one analysis and paper two computer science analysis and uh, soon you'll be expecting the answer key anytime you'll be getting stay tuned with us yes convention 19 do check okay thank you so much read it on migratory species cits is different migratory species is different cits is it's for trade on endangered species this is migrated species okay let me know the answers in the comment section mutha will read the question carefully i am not asking with sites i am asking with migratory species okay right very good thank you so much do like and share with your friends meet you tomorrow with other set of questions thank you tata bye yes